Greetings family. I am glad to be here again. For those who don't know me, my name is Michael. Here is another exciting Bible study. Many do not know about the wedding in heaven on the first watch. According to the Bible, there are three watches. Jesus spoke about the second and the third watch. In this study, you will learn why Jesus did not mention the first watch. I hope you enjoy this teaching as much as I did when listening for the first time. The Lord won't be waiting any longer for those who do not believe in biblical truth. As I said before, there is no personal interpretation of the scriptures. Please listen to this Bible study to understand better a topic that most pastors never talk about. Stay tuned for more biblical truth. Please help us to continue doing more videos and keep the channel running. I appreciate your support. Like, share, and subscribe. God bless you all. This lesson this evening, we're going to be learning about the first watch bride. The first watch bride. And we're going to begin with Luke chapter 12, verse 34. Luke chapter 12, verse 34. Jesus says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, for this revelation of your word. The bride, the first watch bride, Lord, that is going to come out of the church while the church sleeps. We pray, Lord, that you will anoint this message to pierce through the darkness, Lord, and that it will penetrate into the hearts of your people. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, over this ministry as we minister your word. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen. So we begin with Luke 12, 34. Jesus begins this with a treasure. With a treasure where your treasure is. What's what's the most valuable thing in your life right now? Just think about that. What do you value the highest? That's where your heart's going to be. Okay? That's where your heart's going to be. So he goes on in this chapter to deal with something that I think very few really grasp and understand. It's somewhat of a secret because so few even understand this. So you really want to pay attention to this lesson. Jesus is giving a truth here that is not on the surface. Now, the Jews should have picked up on this right away, knowing, knowing the, the watches. They should have known what he was talking about. Luke chapter 12, verse 36, And ye yourselves, like unto men, that wait for their Lord, when he will return from... I want you to underline that word from. When he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Now notice in this verse, he's returning from the wedding. For him to re be returning from the wedding, the wedding must have already taken place. Does that make sense? 
and he's returning from the wedding. Okay. So now he gives us an indication of when this wedding took place. Luke 12, 37, blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. That's the marriage feast, folks. He's returning from the wedding, and he's coming to those that are going to uh, be in the marriage feast, but they miss the wedding because he's coming to those that after the wedding, he's coming to a people, okay? Now notice the next verse. And if he shall come in the second watch or in the third watch and find them so, blessed are those servants. Now, do you notice something here? Jesus never mentions a first watch. If he shall come in the second watch or in the third watch, Blessed are those servants. Now think about this with me. Why isn't there anything mentioned about the first watch? And that's what we're going to look at this evening. So let's take a look. Hallelujah. Let's take a look at this and find out why <clears throat> okay I put up a bit of a um, a timeline here for you to look at okay yeah, let's see if you can see this. <clears throat> All right. So the first first watch bride. Here's the first watch over here. Okay? This is the first watch. And if you notice, the first watch takes place between 6 o'clock and 9 o'clock p.m. You see that? Six o'clock and nine o'clock p.m. Notice, notice here when the second watch takes place. Twelve a.m. Okay. So we notice that the bride. The first watch is the bride, okay? That's when the wedding is going to take place. Jesus never mentions in this verse anything about the first watch, does he? He says, if he shall come in the second watch or the third watch. And the reason there's no mention that Jesus is coming in the first watch is because he's not coming. Not coming in the first watch. He comes in the middle of the air in the second watch. Here we see the rapture or the church being caught up right here. That's in the second watch. That's midnight. Okay? Notice here in the first watch, between 6 o'clock and 9 p.m., that's called sunset, right? The sun is going down. You notice that? The sun is going down in the first watch. So here, 
In the second watch, it's not the sun going down anymore. Remember, Jesus said, work while it's day, because when the night comes, no man can work. Well, how many know that in the second watch, there's not going to be anybody working? Nobody's going to be working in the kingdom for God during the second watch. That's why the scripture says God's going to send forth the angels to gather out the, uh, the, the uh, tares among the wheat. The church is asleep. See, the church, down here we see the wise virgins. That's the church. And the church as a whole is in darkness. And they're asleep. Are you understanding that? The church will be caught up here. Whoops. The church will be caught up there. Okay? And then the marriage feast will take place. The wedding takes place here. The marriage feast takes place here. That's why it says in this verse of Scripture, and if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them so blessed to those servants. But if we go back a verse, you'll notice he talks about he'll come forth and serve them. What's he serving them? What's This is talking about the marriage feast. That's during the second watch. All right. Now we notice there's three and a half years. In three and a half years, this is the full seven years of Daniel. That's the tribulation hour right here. So we see the bride is going to escape. Jesus said, watch and pray that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and stand before the Son of Man. So we see here that the bride of Christ is going to be escaping in the first watch before the tribulation even begins. You see that? The bride will escape in the first watch. Je Remember, Jesus never mentions the first watch because he's not coming in the first watch. If he shall come in the second or the third watch, he's going to he's going to come down in the middle of the air, right? He'll come down in the middle of the air. The church will be caught up to meet him in the air. Okay. And then the and then the marriage feast takes place after that. This is the marriage feast. Right here. Okay? This is where the church, along with the bride of Christ, will return. Are you noticing this? In the second coming of Christ. This is how bad the, the earth is going to get. The bride is going to escape at sunset. The church will be here during the darkness which is the first three and a half years of the tribulation. Let me see if I got that right. Excuse me. Darkness actually should be more so, well, it should be more so here, right after sunset. Okay? So it doesn't start over here. Darkness actually starts over here. I don't know if you noticed that or not. Because right after sunset, it be begins to get dark, right? So, really, darkness starts over here. And uh, as it's getting darker and darker, the church is going to still be here. These are the wise virgins here in the middle. So, first three and a half years of the tribulation hour, the church is going to be still on the earth. While the wedding is taking place, where? In heaven. Does that make sense? The wedding is taking place in heaven, which is which is the union 
between Christ, I'm not even sure if I spelled that right, two Ds, I guess that's, uh, the marriage, and actually, I tell you what, it'd actually be better to be called the marriage because that would help us to understand because a union, see, the bride and Christ are becoming one during this time. That's why the scripture says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the lamb has come and his wife hath made herself ready in the book of Revelation. But it also says, rejoice you that are in heaven, but woe unto the inhabitants that are in the earth. So here's the woe, okay, but here's the rejoice, These folks are rejoicing in heaven, the marriage, the union, while the, ch while the church is still on the earth. Whoa, why? The devil has come down unto you having great wrath. See, the church is going to be here during the darkness, midnight hour. Now, right up to midnight, from 9 o'clock up to 12 a.m., the church will be here and the church will be caught up at midnight. Remember the scripture says, uh, at midnight there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh, go out to meet him. It was at midnight that that took place. I don't know if, you know if you're able to follow with me on this or not. It might be too smushed together here. So there definitely is space in between, okay? Six and nine o'clock, there's some space there. Some time between six and nine p.m. This is the time the church, the bride is making herself ready between six a.m. and in, in, in or six p.m. Excuse me, and nine p.m. in the evening. In the evening, okay? And then the church is going to be here for the first three and a half years of the tribulation hour. And that's between nine o'clock and 12 midnight. I hope you understand that. Whoa. Darkness, 12 midnight. That's when the wise virgins will, uh, it says they rose up. They trimmed their lamps, and they rose up, they trimmed their lamps. Um, that's at midnight that they do that. That's in the second watch. I'm not sure if you all can see that or not. That's the second watch when that takes place. So you can definitely see there's a division there between the bride and the church. Okay? And there's a division here between the church and the remnant of her seed. The remnant of her seed is going to be here during gross darkness, during from, from 12 midnight, let me show you here, from 12 midnight on to 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay? And this is the third watch. That's the second coming of Christ. These are the foolish virgins. Does that make sense, folks? The bride of Christ, the wise virgins, and the foolish virgins. Okay? So this is right here, the first watch Jesus doesn't mention. That's a secret wedding. That's a, that's a mystery. Most people don't even know about this here. There's no mention of the first watch. And that's because it's not going to be done before the church or done before the public. The marriage is something that is going to be sacred within the sacred tabernacle or tent of the Lord, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's where the scripture says, um, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty, 
That's where we see the first watch wedding taking place, under the shadow of the Almighty or under the kupa. Uh, is that how they say that in Jewish? The kappa, uh, which is the what they get under for their weddings. So this will be under the, that's going to be a beautiful wedding, sunset wedding. Amen? That's, a, that's going to be glorious. Let us be glad, rejoice, give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife hath made herself ready. But then the church, God's going to protect the church from the face of the serpent during the first three and a half years of the uh, tribulation. So really... I see that we we failed here because really this should extend out here. We shouldn't have put this here. Okay? Because the the last three and a half years extends all the way out. So really it should. You see what I'm saying? There's an extension. Three the the bride, the three, the first three and a half years of the tribulation hour, the last three and a half years of the tribulation hour. Okay? And by the way, this is when all the seals, this is when the book of Revelation, as far as, uh, as far as the seals, the trumpets, okay? All of that takes place in the wrath of God. Here, this is where all the seals and, and, and trumpets and everything begin to be released. The man of sin, that wicked shall be revealed in the second watch. Um, believe it or not, maybe you don't know this, but the, the devil, or not the devil, but the man of sin is going to come on the scene at the beginning of the, um, of the tribulation. So the devil, the, the man of sin will be on the earth, but he won't be manifesting as that beast. See, he'll only be manifesting as that man that comes as a, as a uh, he comes in as, as a man of flattery, uh, trying to win the people over at first. But then he, in the last three and a half years, he'll manifest as the beast that he is. It's a lot to take in. Um, I don't know if you're even going to be able to get anything out of this. Um, I hope you can. I hope the Lord will speak to you and help you to see that if you're going to be in the bride, if you're going to make the bride, that uh, we're in this time right now, in this first watch time. Okay? Jesus said, when you begin to see these things coming to pass, look up. Your redemption draws near. That's in this time frame, right here. The first watch. I hope you see that. This is this is pre, right? Pre-tribulation. This is mid-tribulation, and this is post-tribulation. You see that? It's just getting darker and darker and darker. Not only that, but also, also, how many know, as time progresses, as time progresses, this is happening as well. Okay? Okay. This is first watch. Well, let's just do it this way. Let's do it this way. This is like mercury here, okay? You can see that. This is like a mercury. This is, this is uh, my uh, thermometer here. So this would be the first watch, the second watch, we do that a different color. First watch, second watch, 
and third watch. Okay? And right now, we are here. Okay? By the time the bride is taken, the temperature of God's wrath is going to be here. And then it's just going to get worse and worse. It's going to get, he's, it's going to get more and more angry. So this would be the time to be escaping. Amen? Watching and praying that we may be accounted worthy to escape all these things and stand before the Son of Man. This should be what we're focusing on, brothers and sisters. How many know that? The first watch is what we should be focusing on. We shouldn't have any desire to be here for the second or the third watch. And Jesus never mentions the first watch. That ought to get our attention. Why doesn't he mention the first watch? You don't want to be here, in my opinion, for this or this. This is really, really, really where you want to escape. It's only going to get, God's anger is only going to get worse and worse. It's not going to get better, folks. And not only that, but we see in the, even the, on the earth, the Bible says, one day shall be as, a, as seven days and one day the sun. It's going to get so hot. God's wrath is going to wax hotter and hotter. I don't know if that helps you, but I hope it does. God bless you. So I guess I